Hello again YouTube, I'm still at Taylorsville Metro Park where I ended the previous video abruptly because the battery died, but I got a fresh battery now, but here's the Great Miami River once again, and I'm on my way to the ghost town of Tabmore, and I just want to say, you know, you hear me and Econ Cat 88 you know, say stuff about how downtown Toledo and downtown Dayton are ghost towns. And of course, it's because, you know, well, I don't really want to focus too much on that because of the lack of business activity down there. But we're heading to a real ghost town, a little tiny little burg that only a couple dozen people lived in over a hundred years ago. It's a wide open field right there. Yeah, this trail snakes into the open field on the way over to Tadmore. The park is located in between Vandalia and Heberites, but it's got a Vandalia address on it, obviously. I'm going to try and take this one all the way over till I get in the open field. I'll probably start a new one there all the way over to Tabmore. But yeah, there's a new more view of the Great Miami River right there. This ain't beaver cuttings right here, it looks like. But yeah, sometimes you see some beaver cuttings beaver cuttings throughout the park because you do have what are beaver lodges and right over here is might be a good example of a of a beaver lodge where the beavers are probably staying at you know right beneath there Obviously, on the other side of the trail, that's the East Park. That's where I would normally hike at, but I decided to change the pace to change the pace today and show this side of the park because I'm not sure if I have any videos from this side of the park. The last videos I did from the park were actually along the um, were on the west part of the park, which there's not really all that much in the way of trails on Thanksgiving but I decided to show that it's Saturday afternoon around 1 and I figure since there is no college football except the Army Navy game later on today be a good day to come here and hike and have a look around at this I'm pretty familiar with this area where the park is at because I spent a lot of time in Vandalia as a kid and as a young adult I still got family that lives in Vandalia and around this area so I've I'm pretty familiar with the area of the park where this is at so I've I hike this trail every once in a while not very often because as I said the East Park on the other side of the river there is the preferred you know, hiking route, you know, for hikers, obviously. I don't think I'm going to see any deer or coyotes today on this hike, but you never know because it's the middle of the, the middle of the day, but you never know. One of them might decide to, to pop out right here. Yeah, this part of the trail kind of snakes its way away from the away from the river, so to speak. The river's kind of making its, you know, gradual northwest turn, and it goes over beyond that tree line right there in a little bit, in a little bit. So beautiful trees right here. It's hard to. 
I'm not very good with tree identification, especially now that the, you know, leaves are, are down, obviously. Yeah, and as I mentioned in other videos, this is how I started off my YouTube page with hiking videos and nature and that sort of things, but I felt the need to venture into other avenues showing the city of Dayton and other things and where people went because of the condition of the city, but there's a trash can or oil barrel somebody just dumped out right there for whatever reason. I don't know why, but I guess they just had nothing else better to do with it, so they just dumped it. Oh well, I hate to see people litter, litter the parks, because it's, I wish, to, but overall in general the parks are kept, are kept pretty clean. Every once in a while you'll see something that's a little crazy, maybe a tire or something every great once in a while, but not too often. Though on one of my videos at Caesars Creek in a little motor path for like a four-wheeler, I did see somebody dump a tire, and I well, a tire that was dumped, in, and I got that on video, unfortunately, but... Yeah, one great thing about, hear the birds chirping, sycamore trees. Yeah, one great thing about this time of year is you can see so much further in the woods with the leaf cover being down. That tree holds on to its leaves, whatever it is. Oh, that might be honeysuckle right there, the Amur honeysuckle. I've talked about that in other videos, so I'm not really going to focus too much on that. But that's an invasive species all over much of the Midwest, Great Lakes region, eastern half of the U.S. It was a species that was introduced that really went wrong, so to speak. It had good intentions, but it the results turned out disastrous because it crowds out the native species and one of the big problems with it now is the birds transport the seeds around all over the place, which makes it very hard to actually fight it, to actually fight it. So, here's some view of the open field, again, right here. I'm probably gonna Nick I'm probably gonna title these videos the hike to Tadmore at Taylorsville Metro Park is probably how I'm gonna title these videos. But yeah, you could see right there were some crops and that I guess are growed whenever they want to. Not really sure who farms the crops or it might even be given to charity or or the other theory because the Five Rivers Metro Parks owns the Second Street Market. It's very well possible that whatever is sold and donated there is given to uh, is given to them to sell. Oh yeah, here, oh yeah, here you can see some beaver cuttings right here. This ain't a very large one, but yeah, you could see where they did some cutting. On this tree right here I'm not sure where their little lodges here but there's another beaver cutting these aren't very big trees they have they cut but here's another view of the Great Miami River and I cannot tell if the trail yeah I believe the trail is still yeah it's still view the East Park Trail is viewable on the other side of the, the river right there 
Yeah, there's the beaver cutting. Once again, good view of the great Miami River. If I see any other beaver cuttings along the way, I'll kind of point them out, but that one was pretty obvious right there. I'd love to get a picture or a video of a beaver, but I don't see them that often. But they are here, though. No doubt about it, they're here. And there's nothing wrong with that. I don't have a problem with that. They're animals. This is in their habitat. Obviously, it's not human habitat. Good thing is this park, like all the other parks, is federally protected. So this land is never allowed to be developed. Obviously. Good view of the Great Miami River once again. That could be a beaver dam or lodge right there. You can kind of see how the water kind of flows gracefully between this little island right here. Just simply graceful and beautiful right there how it kind of flows between possibly a beaver lodge right over there but back to the trail it's a really good day for hiking it's around 40 or 45 degrees there's virtually no wind down here here we got a down tree covering the trail but it's should be navigational to get around it right here that's a big tree in the middle of the trail it's been a, about a yeah about three weeks since i was over here last i was over here on thanksgiving for a hike but that was in the western part of the park and i probably will not show that part of the park again and i'll and I'll come back over here again, do more videos of the East Park, even though I showed that, you know, multiple times. If you want to know what the East Park looks like when it's like this, type in Taylorsville Metro Park Christmas Hike 2012. I hiked on the other side there on Christmas Day. The East Park's on the other side of the trail. It kind of sucks they don't have a footbridge to kind of connect the trails from the East Park to this right here. A footbridge, but it'd be nice. But the river's no more than four or five feet deep. Maybe not even that, but another good view of the Great Miami River. Another hiker. Again, how you doing here? Hey, how you doing here? Another beautiful view of the Great Miami River. You can see the sycamore trees. They're on the other side of the river from here. Just past another hiker. I've only seen two hikers over here, but as I said, this part of the park is not that heavily used for hiking compared to the other side. And the trail kind of fades away on the other side of the view from the river as it goes into that field over there. As it goes into the field. And at least there's... Although I don't mind the sunlight, but no sunlight to really affect the camera view or anything like that. And I wanted to show this part of the park today when there's, you know, no foliage on because I figured with the old abandoned village, there's only a few left. It's a good time to actually show, 
you know, the tab more part of the park. Because clearly you could see more and better at this time of year. Yep, this is the main river through the Dayton area. Boy, that's a... Boy, that's a very interesting shredded tree right there. Yeah, I'm not sure when I'm going to upload upload these, but I'll see what I can do to get them online in the next few days. Maybe tonight, I don't really know yet. Another good view of the Great Miami River. I'm going to let this one run till I get in the open field. And I'll start a, start a new one there. You can see the river's kind of making its northwest turn over to the Tabmore area from here. Well, you may not be able to notice it that visibly from here, but it's making its gradual turn as the trail is kind of headed in a northeast, or not northeast, but northwest direction going over to Tadmore. Sycamore tree right there kind of branched across the river right there yeah this one's probably gonna be the longest video of the day it's around 17 minutes but I really don't care how long it runs for just gonna let it run and let her rip Another good view of the Great Miami River. Had some good views of it all along this trail. A little bit of mud right there, but nothing that's too bad or that you can really complain about. I'm not sure how often this part of the park floods right here, but I really don't have any intention to really come through here after there's a bunch of rain because this trail is just too flat and it would be just a hell to get through it. Not that I mind hiking through the mud, but it just is not a trail that I would desire to come through when it's very wet. Here's some birds right there. Another good view of the Great Miami River. Thought I was going to be in the open field by now, but that's okay. I'm not in any hurry or got any worries today, so... That's okay with me. Excuse me there.
20 minutes into the video. There's more of the honeysuckle again. But I've already talked about that today and other days, so no more about that today. Unless I see something that's really worthwhile noting about it. Yeah, there's more of it right there. For some reason, there's more of it right here, and this should be more easily be able to remove because the trail is wide enough to get a four wheeler back here to remove some of it. But you can see how it kind of makes it hard on the native species to thrive here as it chokes them out. But I'm coming on to the open field, so I'm gonna probably end this one in a second and start a, a new one here. Alright, that's it for this 